Hey guys, it's Roy here from our Local 12 and EpicDroid.com, bringing you today a video on the Google Nexus 5X. The Google Nexus 5X was a device that was announced in September of 2015, came out in October of 2015. I was able to get it that same month, and now a year later, in October of 2016, I am still using the Google Nexus 5X as my primary device. Not only am I using it as my primary device, I am recommending this device to several other people. I have been able to convert my wife's entire family over to using it, and I've been able to convert several members of my family over to using it, and I've been able to convert several friends and acquaintances over to using it as well. I recommend the Nexus 5X almost unreservedly. There are some things that it, it doesn't do the best. There are some problems with it, but those are little problems that have been fixed either with uh, software patches from Google or from custom ROMs or custom development, um, or they're just things that over time have gotten better. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you guys some of the specs here on the Nexus 5X. Gonna give you a quick recap or a quick overview of what the device can do, but make sure you guys stick around till the end of the video because I will have a recap for you. I'll have my top five reasons why I like the device, I'll have three things I wish I could change about the device, and then I'm going to tell you guys whether or not you should get it. Spoiler alert, I'm going to tell you guys to get it. So stick around and let's check out the rest of the Nexus 5X. So this here is the Google Nexus 5X up close and personal with as close to a stock ROM as we can be getting here. I am running Pure Nexus by Beanstown. It is one of the best ROMs that I've ever seen. Huge shout out to Beans real quick. The Nexus 5X itself is currently on Android 7.0 as is Pure Nexus. And so they are both on the same version of Android here. So 7.0, that is Nugget or Nougat, I'm sorry. But, uh, and it is also slated to be receiving 7.1 here in the near future. The device comes with a 2700 milliamp hour, I'm sorry, milliamp per hour battery that gets you a fairly decent battery life. I mean, it's not the greatest, but it's not the worst either. There are plenty of devices with better and there's plenty of devices with worse. It comes with an IPS LCD capacitive touch screen. It is 5.2 inches here from corner to corner. That touch screen has a 1080 by 1920 pixel resolution. So it gives you a very good resolution and it's a very sharp display screen here. And as you can see, I don't even have it on the brightest settings there and it still looked awesome and it looked great. So as far as the specs and what powers this device, it comes with a Qualcomm MSM8992 Snapdragon 808 hexa-core processor that houses four 1.4 gigahertz Cortex-A53 processors and two 1.8 gigahertz Cortex-A57s. For a GPU, it comes with an Adreno 418. As far as storage goes, it comes with two different versions. It has the 16 gig and the 32 gigs of internal storage. Then it also comes with two gigs of memory. The two gigs of memory are one of the areas that it took a lot of flack for in the beginning. When it was first released, there were issues with memory management. Google has has since fixed those issues and this device flies. I can run heavy games on it, I can do phone calls, I can watch videos, I can read books, I can do just about anything you can do on a device with more memory and I don't have any issues with that memory management. The device also comes with two cameras. It has a rear camera, the primary camera, that is 12.3 megapixels. It has a laser autofocus and dual LED flash. On the front we have a 5 megapixel camera with no flash. So thank you for sticking around. Now you guys have seen all the specs of the device, you're a little bit more familiar with it, you're familiar with the way it looks, you're familiar with what's inside it and what it can do. Now the Nexus 5 5X. What, what I promise you, the five reasons I love the Nexus 5X. The first reason is the fingerprint scanner. I love the fingerprint scanner and the fact that it's on the back. It wasn't the first device to have the fingerprint scanner on the back, but it was one of the fastest fingerprint scanners at the time. And actually, I think there's only one device out now that has a fingerprint scanner that is faster than that, and that's the Honor 8. But this fingerprint scanner unlocks, I think it's like 0.6 of a second, and so it goes very quickly, and it is very reliable, and it's very accurate. I love the fact that it's on the back because I hate those devices where you have to sit there with your thumb on the front, and you get that awkward cramped position where you're trying to get your thumb in just the right spot and it, you're it just it's uncomfortable it's awkward and it's unnatural when I pick up my device I naturally cradle it in my hand and my finger is already on the back all I have to do is move my finger over just not even a full inch and I can unlock the device and I have it ready to go the other thing I love about the phone is I love the soft touch back the soft touch back is a nice grippy back and it makes it so that I am never going to drop that phone. I have not dropped it a single time because of the fact that it is so grippy. I also love the size of the phone. As I said earlier, it's a 5.2 inch screen display and that 5.2 inches is just the right size where I can do everything on my device with one hand. Another thing I love about it is USB-C. When I first got USB-C, I hated it. I hated the fact that this was the only device in my house that had USB-C and everything else in my house was a micro USB. Now I've been doing Android for about seven years now and before that I was doing Palm. And before that I even had other devices and all these devices used micro USB. So I have about seven billion micro USB cables lying around my house. Now that I've used USB-C, I've actually really grown to love USB-C. It's super convenient. I love the fact that it's completely reversible. I don't have to worry about putting the cable in wrong and then not going in and then having to turn it 
around and get it the other way. It just slides right in, it's nice and easy, and I don't have any problems with it. So I love USB-C. The fifth thing that I love, and probably the thing I love the most, is the fact that it gets updates regularly. Google is very quick to push out updates. When the device first came out, it came out with USB, not USB, it came out with Android 6.0. It was very quickly after that updated to Android 6.0.1, and then, when Android 7.0 came out, it was one of the very first devices to receive Android 7.0. And it is slated to get Android 7.1 here in the very near future. So, it gets a lot of updates, it gets them very quickly. And not only those updates, but it also gets the regular monthly security updates that Google puts out, and it gets them very quickly as well. So those are the five things that I love about the device. The three things I wish I could change. The first thing I wish I could change is the speaker, or speaker speakers. The Nexus 5X comes with a single speaker, in the bottom of the device. It has the ear speaker for when you're on a phone call, but it doesn't work in a dual speaker mode. And so you have this speaker here on the bottom that is honestly not that great of a speaker. It's very quiet and it's not the loudest speaker. And the sound quality, although it is good, it's on the lower end of the spectrum. Now, there is a mod, I will have a link to that in the description below, I have a video that shows you guys how to do it, but you can enable a dual speaker mode where you can use this speaker up top, and you, your in-call speaker, as well as the other speaker, to get a dual audio, or dual speaker effect. Now, it is still not the greatest sound, because this in-call speaker does not have the same volume range as the regular speaker does, but it still gives you a decent quality, and it's good enough with the two of them together. So the second thing I'm not a big fan of with the device is the fact that it doesn't have a removable battery. I'd like to have a removable battery where I can swap out the battery and I can put a new one in when I, that is just sitting off to the side, it's fully charged and ready for me to go, and I can just put it in, presto, I'm good to go. Now the nice thing about it is it does come with rapid charging, so even though it doesn't have the removable battery, I do have the ability to charge it very quickly. So I take that USB-C cable around with me, I take my charger, I plug it in, presto, my device is charged very quickly. It's not as fast as doing the removable battery swap, but it is still pretty quick. The third thing I'm not a big fan of is the fact that it doesn't have removable storage. Now I've found that I don't use as much storage on the Nexus 5X as I thought I would. I have, excuse me, I have the 32 gig version, and I rarely get to a up to more than 20 or barely 30 gigs of storage being used. And when I do, I just clean it up and I'm good to go. But with my older devices that I had where I did have external storage, I was able to use that SD card, I put it in, put some files on it, and then I could transfer over to my tablet or transfer to another device, transfer to my computer or whatnot, and that was super convenient and I really liked having that. Now, is it something that would stop me from buying the Nexus 5X or stop me from recommending it? Absolutely not. None of those three features, none of them are things that are, the lack of features or whatever you want to call them, are not things that I would stop stop me from recommending the device, I will still recommend the device and I will continue to do so. The Nexus 5X will continue to be my primary device, at least for the near future here. The device is about $300 on Amazon. It, when it was originally listed, it went for $379 or $429 for the 32 gig version. The $379 I'm sorry, was for the 16 gig. But you can get the 32 gig version for about $300 on average now. There are some sales that Amazon and other retailers do regularly, and so you do see that price drop quite a bit. With the announcement of the Pixel, I expect that we'll see a lot more price drops here in the near future. Do I recommend the device? I love it. I recommend it. You guys should get it. I'll have links to it in the description below. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit us up in the comments. We'll answer those questions as we can and when we are available. And if you've liked this video, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all your support. I appreciate you being here for me and for watching my videos, for clicking that thumbs up and for sharing it. And as always, I just want to tell you guys, thank you for watching and you guys all have an awesome day.